All right, we are preparing for this crusade here. And of course, while we wait for it to start, we're just going to keep accumulating money and uh, some more of that. Where are we going anyway? Here, the Kingdom of Finland. Which is... Uh, doesn't really exist right now. It's all this, basically. Honestly... We're going to go as a self-serving crusader. That means that we're not going to get any of the rewards here. We're going to get our troops ready in... Well, it's around 100 days left. Let's see how much we earn. 22. And having all our troops raised costs us 9 and a bit. These are going to cost us a bit more as they deplete. Oh, that's quite all right. We're not going to raise these few fools. Why can't I select my troops here? Uh, all right, I have to alt tab out of the game and back into it. Sometimes that happens. Okay, can we have ships enough to get these guys over there? Yes, we can. So let's walk our army right over here already. Because it's not going to be long anymore, and we want to be the first, the very first to be part of this crusade here. Stun them down. 60 days left. Our troops are fast arriving. Let's combine them, let's make sure we have a good... Selection of leaders in charge here. We might not be at war with these guys, so we're going to go north. The Knights of St. John, okay. And there we go. Deus Vult indeed. Uh, we might want to reconsider our move north here. We'll just attack in this place. And then we go there. We'll just pick off a few troops. Alright, so the enemy is coming for us. With an army larger than ours. Quite a bit, actually. That's not ideal for us. But we might get reinforcements. And we are defending in hills. And we have a bunch of... I mean, look at that. They have mainly light infantry, which is pretty weak against heavy infantry. Let's check our military strategy. We can't do anything here sensibly. So we'll just have to wait and hope that these arrive in time to help us out. But this uh, catapulted us to the frontier with 100%. It's a bit cheaty doing it like this, but you know. I am not entirely sure. Okay, yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this. This is not looking good. Oh, center is already breaking. There are reinforcements coming. But I have my doubts that we're going to win it. Ah, ah. Actually, no. There are more. But there are also a few more from here. Not enough. I don't think this is going to go all too well. The 4,000 over here are going to turn it. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, that wasn't good. Us running ahead to death and destruction. That didn't work out. Let's see, can we get a holy order going? They are already on contract. Very unsurprisingly so. Right, they have a 10,000 strong army, that's not bad. Where are we fleeing to? Shattered retreat out here. 
We need to turn right back. And go siege. Or participate in war. I do not wish to be a commander. We can't fall behind now. That would be terrible for us. Down there is battle. There's more battle. Usually I like to siege in these types of situations. Siege here. We do not have the pagan homeland attrition penalty, but we do have forest and base. One of our commander offsets it a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Where are the pagan hordes anyway? Religious control mandate. We can revoke people with the wrong religion. Excellent. Thinking about splitting off my retinue and bringing them back home. Because we don't need to sink in here. Our grandson, would we like him to be cruel? Oh no, we would be cruel. Let's lose some prestige on this boy. Oh no, our dog died. Give him a funeral. Still at 40%. Let's get the siege going that we actually win. So the main host is going south here they're trying to circumvent us probably trying to link up with this army there so we have gotten this going uh now let's siege this maybe and then we want to go south to face the army because the papal army is... Oh, they're running around here. They're probably going to be the ones fighting this primarily. So we keep up with the sieges. How much is our retinue? 480. Oh, we'll keep them together, that's fine. Not going to assault this. Uh, battle we could have joined. Where's the Pope? There. Papal armies are moving around there. So the Swedish army is still here somewhere. No, it's not the Swedish army, the Finnish army. So we don't need to build forts because this removes the pagan homeland attrition that we already offset by being as amazing as we are. So the Irish are being crushed back there. All right, now there, there's a big army coming. Uh, let's not be part of this battle. If we can avoid it. A beautiful woman. We could become chaste or cheery. Let's be cheery for a bit. Um. Okay. He is, uh. What? Uh, so we would. No, a woman called Asa. Frederick the Hunter, what? No, no, we, we have to go. Like, we just have to go here. 
I don't know if our troops are going to escape this battle. Nope. <laughs> Almost got out of there. Where's the Pope? We are being slaughtered. Oh wow. Oh that's bad. That's really bad. We're going to lose our prime spot here, I think. This might become a major loss anyway, unless the papacy somehow figures out how to get their troops involved here. Because they form the largest part of the Christian army. Certainly not us. We have lost most of our troops, which is good, because that means money for us. And money, you know what that means? Yes, you're right. That means upgrading one more trade post to get this. Which one were we working on this one? Let's put a garrison in. How's our crusade going anyway? I've lost the commander, that's not ideal. Let's put this guy. Were you? Potsdain, Tottelson, my grandson. And you're good at this, so be good at that. You're my chosen heir. Okay, our troops have gathered themselves again. Let's go try. What could we do? Help somewhere. It feels a little bit hopeless. Just have so many more troops than us up here. There's a big army. And they're going north-ish. That's not a big army if you look at everything else that's sort of going on around here. Where did they just go? There. Okay, we want to help here definitely. Looks like a battle we could win potentially with our combined forces. And uh, that's a no, because there's 2,000 more coming of theirs. And very few... How are they doing that? That's crazy. Completely wiping the floor with us. I think I need to put down my troops and raise them back up again. And we need to bring in some mercenaries. Crazy, they're beating us at every turn. I think Norway just joined. Where is the big grand papal army? Where are they? I saw them. Not sure what we got into here. But apparently we're beating our allies very easily. That's great. One victory for us. Okay, let's stand on our troops. We can raise them back up a bit stronger. Bring them there. How much do we lose now in terms of money? Of which? Build a merchant port. We don't even have enough to get ourselves... I forget the button for this. The C? C. Well, to the C basically is how that works. Ah, oh, they took our siege. Who's that? Oh yeah, that's my retinue. No, not my retinue. That's my personal levy coming in. So we definitely need the papal army, else we're not going to win this one. 
I don't think. Is this army here? How are we at war with this guy too? The Holy Roman Salernian Vassalization War. That's not great. Where is... I mean... Pope is here with his 12,000. Are you joking? It's not a crusading army. That's a... It's a homebody army is what it is. They're just sitting there. They're not doing anything. Alright. Um... Let us go north and be beaten a few more times, I suppose. So we still earn 13 gold, meaning we can afford a few more mercenaries. Well, a few mercenaries. What can we afford then? Uh, 7.33. Sami Band. We have 13 gold, but it's going to go lower as our army grows, so the Sami band is really all we can afford. Which is kind of fun because they're from around here. Let's get them. Bring ourselves up a bit more to size. But yeah, I'm not having the greatest feeling about this. Doesn't look too good. At least all the other things here are being won, I suppose. Alright. Now, oh, this is an army. Sort of. Kind of, we are still nowhere near their military power. I mean, we are way stronger than them. Except that the ones that are really strong are just... ...muddling about down here in the south. I'm kind of loath to bring my army to bear when it's pretty much clear that we're going to get completely obliterated up here. Oh, what is this? A raider? We must do something about those heathens raiding in here in, in these lands of ours. But we shall. Can't have that. It gives us a bit more time to potentially accumulate more crusader armies. And there we go. So we have gotten gold rank in the embargo challenge, which is lovely stuff. So now we can concentrate our wealth into our palace. I'd like to pick up the Swedish army here, but I also don't want to have the Irish be alone here. This army is just way, way, way too big. Let's go siege a bit. I want to go reinforce them, but I don't know who's attacking them. And if it's that 12,000 blob, I'm not going to jump on that. We're just going to get crushed again. 13,000 blob. Never thought I would be holding out for the Pope to arrive somewhere. That's a crazy notion. How do they have 1,300 defenders already? How does that work? Okay, let's start moving because they're definitely going to come roll to us. Oh no, they're not. They're going north to fight more Irish.
Normal winter is taking our troops out. Yeah, we're not eating some weird cookies. Go away. Okay, now they're coming for us, so let us leave. While we still can. Plus we have lost 2,000 troops to attrition and moving elsewhere. But there's finally a Swedish army arriving. Let us go this way. Where everyone else is going. And I already lost the Swedish again. Where are they? Did we not see a Swedish army? Still there. Just hides behind us. These are the worst places in the world to go attack into because the attrition is just completely obliterating armies while theirs... I mean, they suffer the same attrition, but it always kind of feels like it hits you harder than them. It isn't. The game is fair. It just feels like it. Feels like it's not. We've taken a little bit of territory. Just holding out for the papacy still to arrive with that big blob of theirs. Yo, papal army, where are you at? Nowhere to be found. Maybe they are somewhere over this direction. I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Running in circles uselessly. But at least all the European wars seems to be over now, so... Maybe the Holy Roman Empire feels like joining this. Oh no, we're losing our troops again. Let's lose our troops before the enemy arrives! I don't know if this was smart or not. It probably wasn't. Probably was a terrible idea. To whittle ourselves down like that. Yeah, let's make our grandson ambitious. Or can we give him something which gives him prestige? You become bitter rivals, but he is ambitious, that's fine. Right, another crushing defeat. And we will run where? All around there. So the papal army has finally arrived. And now let's watch them melt in the snows here. <laughs> we have thrown away the lives of our people. Do we even still have retinue? Yeah. They're just very, very few now. Sure, I'll help you. Yeah, and that was the papal army. They have lost to snow. <laughs> and this is what's left of ours. So let's split off our retinue. And bring our retinue back home. To, you know... Get their strength back. Let's stand these down. Our higher troops are down to 27. That's real good. My goodness, what a bloodbath. What a bloodbath. Let's see what we can upgrade on our palace. If anything, no. So maybe we build a few more trade posts. Shall we? Can we afford something here? Good. They're very expensive. Very expensive indeed. Can we afford something closer to home? Yeah. Could put more in Kattegat to really lock it down. 
Want to see about the wealth di distribution here. On. Let's build it here. Why not? And the Grand Papal Army is down to 4,000 men. <laughs> it's so terrible. I don't think we're going to win this. I have a feeling this is not going to work out in our favor. Son. What's then, son? Yeah, I'm pretty sure our heir is going to take over, but we're already grooming the next generation. And we should die fairly soon. I think, I mean, we're 71. Pretty much on the way out. Where am I sending these? There. And these there too. Uh, no. Okay, let's stand down our mercenaries before we go into debt. Because they would just revolt and ah, it's, it's all sorts of ugly business. Nothing we want to concern ourselves with. So the papal army is down to 1700, which is Great, let's check out the... Yeah. We're still at 154%, apparently. I don't believe those numbers. Because I see a big, big death blob of the enemy roaming around. I don't see the same thing from our side. <laughs> like, at all. Do we have a death blob coming up or something? Something from the south, maybe? Something we forgot? Yes, we forgot about these brave men. Let's get some ships and bring them into the fight. Bastable stain. Get another commander going. Okay. Oh, the sun. Oh no, he's our... one of our chancellors. That ain't gonna work. Eh, we'll hold off with marrying the family... jewels. <laughs> There's 11,000 there walking all over the papal army. Uh, I mean, we could try and reinforce them, but with what? With the 2,000 we have? Please. And how they reinforce these so quickly, I do not understand. Shouldn't be possible. On a land here? Yeah. Alone, we don't even have enough troops to siege this, so let's run away because I see an enemy coming up. And I wish to not be crushed. We have already been crushed a few times in this. Not something we need on repeat. Who are we going to fight here? One of those armies running away. Probably just a raider who doesn't even count. Oh no, it is an army, so not a host, but we are losing. Ah, some reinforcements finally. Ooh, look at that. The Pisian fleet. Uh, it's 2,600. Uh, well, whoop de do. That fleet promised a lot more than it delivered. And they're sitting them right down in front of the enemy host. How they are not being completely obliterated by winter beats the hell out of me. They should be down to, like, a lot less, is what I'm gonna say. 
It should be down to a lot less. This army is not coming toward us. Ever. We have won something. Let's win more somethings, maybe. This army has to melt at some point. It just has to. But then again, they're made out of ice. Are they coming south? No, a lot of just standing around. It might be their last blob. I don't think they have a second blob. Ah, oh, no. We have a local revolt risk because our son was a fool. Okay. How much money would it cost us to get him into office directly and skip the grandfather. I'm kind of scared to try because we're so old. We might just die immediately. We have a hundred and something gold. Putting all in here gives him 500. Which is not a lot. I think we would need at least a thousand. Let's see. We could get 80. We, we could become 80. I mean, it, it's rare, but it happens. So let's uh, prop up our dear grandson. Him. He's going to be all kinds of things. Um... Can it be anything else? Oh, but we can put him on the council. What are you good at, boy? Uh, nothing much. I mean, he's good at a few things. We'll give him this position. Local tax modifier, minus 50%. We'd get that either way. We might as well stay in there. What do you want? War declaration sovereignty. You know, I want a word and in the wars we fight. So we're still winning this crusade somehow. And our contribution is still the greatest. Boy, don't leave us. We can't afford to do this siege alone. Get some more troops. If you go and stand them down here. Let's get us a new army. A bigger army, a better army. We need to replace our brother here. He's not doing well. <laughs> Put him him. We're getting negative levy and reinforcement rate at this point. Good. Don't really want to face them across a river. Not even if 
uh, a river, it's a straight crossing, which is the worst. Go here. Let's attack them there. Think? Nope, there's still a death blob over there. Just went off to deal with other things. We even have enough troops to start a siege here. Of my doubts. Seven thousand approaching. These are some crazy numbers. Definitely for what we have anyway. Then the Crusaders also fight amongst themselves all the time. Why are you attacking this? Are you insane? They're going there for some reason. We'll just siege and keep an open eye here. Are we doing prestige? Point eight. I could give you a thousand with the two hundred gold we have, but we would have to beat this guy. Let's kill a bunch of people while we wait. We could lower the competition for him and keep an eye on the crusade. Don't want to lose. Also, troops. Where did the death blob go? There's a bit of the death blob. But there's more death blob where that came come from. I know it. I can feel it in the water. I can feel it in the earth. I can smell it on the air. Oh no, they're coming straight for us, aren't they? Come on, finish the siege, please. Yes. So now we have a minor, minor, minor chance of getting away from here before this death blob arrives. Immediately take it back. Capture the target of the crusade. Good. You know what we could do for a moment? Let's become a crusader. Excellent. Deals Volt. Because being a crusader helps a little bit. And now we immediately stop leading troops again. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting away. Oh, we did get away. Our friends are not getting away. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, Norway. Hate to break it to you, yeah. Nothing to be done about it. There are 5,000 coming from there. Let's link up with them. This guy is next. For some reason we don't have 200 gold anymore. What did I pay gold for? Attached to this army here. Maybe we can accomplish something. Something at all, because battles, well, those weren't in our favor so far. We have a new heir. Okay, so our brother just died, so that's unfortunate. 
designated heir will be our grandson. And now we need to pump this into campaign funds, all of it. And... Uh, I'm afraid. I'm so scared. We're a drunkard. It doesn't cost us health. But I'm so scared. Uh, I'm so scared. I am so scared. Come on, intrigue. Yes, good news. Yes. More campaign funds. Oh, we don't need a lot. Who are you? Ugh. <laughs> we can do it. Oh. Fighting someone pink. Yes. Make arrangements. The man can stay here. We've done it. We have put our grandson to be the designated heir. Come on, let's get your wife. Let's get you a good wife. Or we can pick one ourselves at some point. Let's see what options we have here. Something of a minor noble, maybe. Let's go by Stuart ship because it's his strongest trait anyway. She's sturdy. <laughs> but she has a club foot. Um... She's probably still the best option. And she doesn't cost us anything. So this will be your wife and joy. Good. Make children. Our son is sick. No. Where is our army? I lost them. Ah, oh, they're here. Our marshal wants to go somewhere. Oh. Oh, you stay. Okay, so this was a very long one again, but a lot of things happened. We have gotten the embargo to gold. We could probably build more trade posts in a bit. And we're looking to expand our realm through this crusade here, but it's looking to be a long and arduous war. I'm not entirely sure we will ever be able to make it, but we'll just have to see.